Hey everyone, it's Steve Yo here. So we are in Iowa. Uh, looking for the city of Burksville. Not really sure where it's at, but we are pretty much lost. Let's see if we can find it. So, my phone died a while back, so I've been driving. I'm on leave from the military, trying to get to a funeral, so it's the first time I've been in Iowa, so I'm pretty much lost. I mean, I'm used to my phone. I don't know how to look at a map. So I'm trying to find chapel here so I can get to my uncle's funeral. Trying to find the city of Burksville. This is a beautiful country here. I mean, just in awe of this place. So my uncle actually moved up here not too long ago. He bought a truck dealership, or I believe. So he kind of moved up here from Nebraska. He used to own a small kind of hobby farm in Nebraska and I remember uh, helping them out when I was younger and it, we always had some I always had some good memories for the service helping out my uncle so unfortunately he passed away so definitely had to make it to his funeral so I'm just gonna go here Well, back in the day, you used to just pull into a gas station and try to see if you can ask somebody uh, to, for help. So maybe somebody can help us out here. Hey, is is everything all right, man? You having some engine trouble? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I put some miles on it, so I had to come all the way from South Carolina. So I'm over here in Iowa for funeral so um, I'm just I'm making sure it's you know nice and cool off so I uh, actually I was hoping to bother you with possibly getting directions can you help me sure out? where do you yeah where are you where are you looking for uh there's a white chapel that's somewhere south of Bucksville I guess did I say that right Burksville. Burksville. Yep, you're in Burksville here. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. White Chapel. It's uh it's about I would say eight miles south of here. So all you'd have to do is uh head south out of town here. So you go up to this intersection and you head down past uh what's that, Wells Fargo? And there's like a uh, some eateries down there, like there's a I don't know, and like a barbecue place you'll see that on your right side so you just head south out of town here you should be able to just stay on this highway and i think it'll be on your right side it's about eight miles down if i had to think right oh well i really appreciate it you're a man for doing this uh what did you say your name was again oh my name's jake jake oh. it's nice to meet you nice to meet you it's stevio here so it's nice to meet a good, honest... It looks like you're a farmer boy there with that seed tender on the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm uh, trying to get in the field to get planted. I'm running behind. <laughs> oh, well, I won't take any more of your time then, but thanks for the directions, and uh, thanks for being a, a fellow polite person on the road here. Yeah, no problem. Well, hey, here, uh, here's my business card in case you get lost, you can't get it figured out, get it found or something. Just give me a call, and I'll uh, try to help you out even more there. Oh, thank you. Good man you problem. are. Thank you. All right, well, you have a good one. So that was Jake. He helped us out with getting directions. Really impressed by how nice they are around here. So, truck's good to go. So he said there's a chapel about eight miles south 
on this highway. Let's see if we could get there. Looks like we got a green light. So we'll head down there, see if we can make it. We're still a little early for the funeral, but I wanted to make sure I got there on time. So we're going down here. Oh, wow. This is a is that a schoolhouse right there? That's pretty cool. Nice old little schoolhouse on the side of the city here. Really impressed with the beauty of this Iowa countryside. It's almost gives me, almost looks like a Nebraska countryside where I grew up. Got a good little fishing pond over here to the side, too. That's pretty cool. Gone a little ways. I don't know how much farther we have to go. Looks like we got a uh, plant over there. I'm not for sure if that's wood chip or some type of uh, rendering plant. Try to stay on the road here. Oh, I see the chapel. Well, we made it on time. Let's get to the service. All right, we cut out a little bit early. I don't like saying uh, goodbyes and feel a little bit awkward at funerals. I don't know about you guys, but we're going to go to the burial, and then we're probably going to cut, cut out of town really quick just because... Uh, be honest I don't really know a lot of people around here except Jake but uh, just met him so uncle just moved out here and all of my family lived in Nebraska for that so we're just driving away from the cemetery so I'm trying to find the highway gonna take off I just don't feel comfortable after the funeral and all that so I think I'm gonna take off quickly oh, oh, oh I think I blew a tire oh 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 man oh uh oh let's see if we can put this thing in reverse oh 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 man I think I'm stuck Let's see. Yep. Looks like we blew a tire. Engine's smoking a little bit, but I think we're good. I don't think the engine has any problems. It's a Cummins 24 valve. It's almost unbreakable. So... I don't know. I'm gonna have to call AAA or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do out here in the country. I don't even think I can give them directions. Maybe I can uh, walk up to... I think there's a farmhouse over there in the distance. Maybe I can walk up to this house and see if anybody's home. No, nope, no one's home. I mean, there's no vehicles parked here, so... It looks like it's a summer vacation home. So, that's probably why. I think... I saw on the way here, there was another house. So, yep, I could just see the rooftop of it over there. Jump over there. Looks like an old farm over here. So it looks like a good little old farm here. Hopefully they're... I don't get shot showing up here at their front door. Jake, is that you? Oh, oh hey, how's it going? What, what brings you over here? Oh man, you got you have a nice house here. I'm I'm not trying to be a creeper. I, 
I literally, uh, my truck is in the ditch over there on the road. I, uh, I it's blew a ditch? tire. Yeah. Oh, shoot. How is it? Is it bad? Do you need a, do you need to pull out or something? Uh, I think I need to pull out. Do you have a B breaker or something where I can fix the tire? Hopefully. I might have a repair kit here in the, in the barn. I can check. Actually, you might have one in the garage. Wow, really? So, you guys... Maybe. <laughs> it, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I could use your uh, phone to call AAA or something, or... Yeah, if you want. Uh, I can go check the garage, see if I got anything, and uh, here's my phone. All so right. So if you want to give a ring, I'll be right back here. Cool. Hello, AAA? What? Half hour? Whew. All right. Uh, I guess I'll wait. Didn't see. You. Oh, there he hey. is. Hey, here's your phone back. They I appreciate it. They said Are at you least. Able to get a hold of anyone? Yeah, I got a hold of them. After trying to describe where I was at for a while, they they said probably half hour to an hour or so. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want it, I can, I can come over and try to help you up out of that ditch. Uh, I was looking around if I had a tire repair, like fix a flat or anything, and I, I didn't see one in there, but, um, I might have one in, uh, in my truck. They usually come with one, so. Oh, really? That's nice of you. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. I feel like I owe you something for doing all this for me. <laughs> Well, uh, I, you're not obligated to anything, but I will say I've got a I've got a friend I just uh, hired to mow a hayfield, and he's he's looking a little wide in the eyes. He didn't realize I had that much hay. So if you wanted to, you could you could help us out with that around, but you don't have to by any means. Say but no more. It's up to you. Say no more. Right. I will pay you in full. No problem I there. I appreciate it. Uh, do you want to uh, just hop in with me? We'll take a ride over there, and we'll get you. We'll try to get you out of the ditch. Sure, let's do this. All Thanks, all. Right. Oh, wow. no problem. What a giant tractor you got here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just bought it. Well, technically, uh, so I run the co-op over in Burksville over there. Oh, and, that's uh, cool. Technically, I bought it for the co-op, but I'm using it for my farm today. Oh. All right, just go ahead and hop on in, and uh, I got a tow chain in the back here. Yep, so this is my uh, pride and joy here. Yeah, it's it's a nice truck. I remember seeing it over at the, the gas station. It's a shame it ended up in the ditch, though. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's a Dodge. I don't even think I scratched it, to be honest, so... No, just, it doesn't look too bad. I guess, uh, what do you recommend? How we get this done? You're the farmer. You got to know how to do this. Well, I say we, uh, since you pulled in nose first, let's uh, either get you attached here on your bumper hitch, or maybe we'll we'll wrap her around the bottom side frame here, and uh, just pull you straight out, uh, straight back. Sounds Make good sure to me. Make sure she's in neutral, mm -hmm. you know. As long as she's in neutral, she'll pull all right. All right, I'll I'll make sure she's in neutral. Uh, and I'll back right. you up. All right, sounds good. Put this in neutral. There we go. Looks like you got the chain already on. Looking good, straight. There we go. That's good. It's probably good right there. All right. I don't know. Does it hitch? Uh, I don't know how that we works. Yeah, what we need to do is uh, get this chain over here. I'm trying to... Hold on, let me get to the other side. Chain is stuck up, up underneath it here. Oh, oh I, I can't... I, hold on, let me get a pry bar. I can't get it off the, off itself here. Okay. That's a beefy chain. I don't think we're going to have any problems. 
There we go. Try to pick it up here. All right. Yep. I'm just trying to get that over there, and we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it hooked up to that ball hitch. All right. We got them hooked up. I'm hooked and, up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give them a little tug forward here. Get that chain tight. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Here oh. we go. Almost Hopefully. out. Come yeah. on. Oh, I there think we he go. got me. Turn it over here so we get on the road. That looks like it's good right there. Perfect. Take that chain off. All right. Looks like we got you out. Hey, uh, I'm going to take you up. I'm definitely going to help you out for a day on your farm because of all your help you did. So, uh, you want me to follow you back to your uh, house or where you need me at? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If you want to, uh, just follow me back down there and we'll get you sorted up, uh, figure out something for you to do here. Um, I'm not sure because I don't have another mower, so I might actually have you helping me out because that hay's not going to be ready to uh, be bailed yet, seeing how it's just being cut. Okay. But, That's... Uh, we'll figure something out here. That's fine by me. Anything you need me to do. I'm farmhand Stevio today. All right. I appreciate it. All right. Yep. Just uh, go ahead and follow me back here. So we're going to take it real easy with this flat on this. So we'll creep it to uh, Jake's house here. And then uh, we'll either find some uh, leak tight goo or uh, get AAA to fix this tire. So Jake has this nice bridge over his ditch over here. It's kind of unique. We're gonna have to take it real slow turning so we don't pop that uh, rubber off of that rim. There we go. It's like somebody's swapping over here to the side of us here. That's a big field of grass. Jake sure does have a beautiful uh, driveway going up to his farmyard here. Somebody's out in the field for him over there. I think we'll leave it right here. Out of his way for now. Jake is over there okay for the truck? Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Looks like it uh, made it on that flat. That's good. Yeah, I think if unless you got some uh, leak glue, uh, I'll just call AAA and have them come out and fix it. Well, uh, I didn't check my truck here. Let me let me check the truck. See what they got. Uh, well, here's a here's a packet of something. I'm not sure if this is the like the resin or glue or something that that you're talking about. I've never actually had to use a fix a flat before. Does that look look yep. about right? That looks like it. Oh, I'll try it out and I'll let you know. Uh, where's your air compressor at? Air compressor, uh, there should be one just inside this garage here. All right, I'll, I'll throw it in there and I'll drive up and put some air in it. And I guess after today, if it's still holding, we're good. All right, sounds good. All right. So we'll put some uh, fix a flat in here. This is obviously not recommended for long distance like we're doing, but we'll get it to a nice tire place down the road. All right, let's get this. I don't know if we're in Jake's way or not here. Pull it over here to the side of his garage. I think that's where he said he has a air compressor. Let's see. Here. Air compressor in here. All right, over here. All right. Oh, there it is. Oh, 
We'll fill this up. Alright. Got air in the tire, so... Looks like... We'll see if that holds for the day. Now let's go see what Jake needs us to do. Did you get, uh, get air in that tire? Yep, it's holding, at least for the first five seconds, so... <laughs> Well, that's good news so far. What do you need well, me to do, boss? All right, so... Let's see. Uh, honestly, if you wanted to, because uh, there's no way that that's going to be ready to get bailed or anything here within the next couple hours. Uh, if you wanted to, I could break out my, uh, my other little planter I've got and uh, get you hooked up with that to go in the uh, tractor, and you could plant this field right over here next to my place if you'd like sure no problem awesome. there all right well uh we're gonna you're gonna have to help me uh get it it's it's way in the very very back so we gotta move a lot of stuff in that barn there <laughs> oh but we'll get okay. it we'll get it hooked up do you want to run the uh the 8400 or the old international there which one which one tickles your your fancy here i'd say the old international Alrighty. No problem. Then uh, go ahead and get that fired up. I'll get this Kubota moved out of the way. We'll have to get the header out of the way, combine out of the way, and then we should be able to get that on out. Alright. Well, let's see if I still remember how to run on one of these old things. What is this? It's a 1586. Alright, let's see if we can start this old uh, 1586 up. See if it needs any ether or not. There we go. Start it up. First turn of the key. It's like riding a bike. Never forget it. Alright, so... We'll see when that's warming up. If Jake wants, he looks like he's gonna back up. I'll help him back up to the header trailer here. Going good. Straight back. There we go. That looks right there. Should be it. Pin in. There we go. Get out of his way there. I think I'll start up his uh, 8820 here. Oh yeah, beefy sound. Hey, is uh, is that Baylor going to be in the way here, do you think? Or should be good to go? I think, obviously we got to finesse the combine out of here, but I think it's good after the combine's out of the way. Alright, sounds good. I was just warming it up for a little bit. Right. Yeah, yeah, these, uh, these old, I think this one's a 1984-ish? 1984, -ish? 1984 Ooh, really? or so? Yep. <laughs> old combine thresher. Turbo. Oh, she works well. Alright, let's see if this thing... Nope, wrong way. There we go. Back up, make sure Jake isn't in the way over there. I think we'll just park it over here to the side. I don't know exactly what Jake plans on doing with it. 
keep it running for now. He might want it put back in there. All right, we'll get this old international backed up, hooked up, and we'll put some seed in it. Keep her coming a little bit more back here. Keep her coming. And... Oh! Oh! Whoa. Oh! My bad. <laughs> My foot right. slipped. Good thing you weren't in between there. Yeah, that would have hurt. <laughs> Are we good? Alright. A little bit ahead? Yep. A little, uh, right there. There you go. Perfect. Rookie mistake. Alright. Take this nice and easy. I think we gotta turn it wide and cut it in. So I guess probably should uh Jake looks like he's going to get the sea tinder. While he's doing that I might park this his combine back in guide him over here. Probably looks good. Run the controls down here. There we go. Looks like we're full. Alright, you should be uh, full. Good to go with seed. Um, don't worry about any admix liquid fertilizer or anything. It, I'll uh, just spray that field later on. Alright. So, you should be good to go. Alright, well, I will take off then. You guys have a good Alrighty. day. I'll see you later. See ya. Alright, so we're getting started planting here. I'm gonna go a little ways and then probably uh, look at our seed depth. So our seed depth looks pretty good here. Headed off, planting, planting at a pretty good clip right now. Very deceiving field, so doesn't appear to be as big as it is just by walking over to it. But once you get there, it's pretty big. So we are getting pretty low on seed, so the seed tender isn't over here, so we're kind of waiting around. I don't know if we'll get it in time. I think what we're going to do is, so we're going to get out quickly, uh, 
will spread around the seed to make sure all the shoots are getting seed down into them. Piers, we're good. We'll do a little bit of digging here just to make sure we're not leaving strips. Would be a good farm hand. All right, so we're doing good. So it is going to be close. I don't know if we're going to get to the other end or not. We better go and spread some seed out quickly. It's definitely going to be close. I don't know if we should push her or not. It's like we... I don't know. It's going to be a close call here. We gonna get there look at that like we knew what we were doing all right so let's get over here in the grass we'll drive back over to his farm fill up at the house so we'll go over here and park it Right here by his road should be good right about here. Looks like Jake has somebody uh swathing his field over here. Old sickle drive over there. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.